Hello everybody, Patriot Contraptions here, and today I'm going to show you how to hook up a Briggs & Stratton twin to run on a test stand. So, I've hooked mine up here. This is one I got from a friend. And there's basically three or four wires you have to hook up. It's really simple. The first step is to hook the motor to a test stand. And in my case, I've just got a couple of boards here. These boards run across and are then bolted to the frame of the motor. And that, what that does is that stabilizes the motor so you can actually start the motor safely. Then, you have to make sure this motor is grounded. The motor itself is actually part of the conducting system. So you run your black wire, your negative ground wire, up from the motor to the negative battery terminal of your 12 volt car battery in my case. And you hook that up to the battery. Then we have to hook up the kill switch for the motor. It's very important that you hook up a kill switch. If you don't, the motor will run on and on and you will not be able to stop it without taking off the gas. Now, in the case of the Briggs and Stratton here, the kill switch is a black wire running from the cable, or the coil, excuse me. And this black wire comes off of the side um, back in there. You can see that. And what you have to do is you have to run this black wire to a switch, just a regular light switch will work, and then hook that light switch, the other side, to the ground, or in this case the ground refers to the negative battery terminal. And when the light switch says on, that's actually in the kill position for the motor. So right now this switch is um, would kill the motor, it will not start right now. Whereas if I were to flip this to on, now we can start the motor. But I'm going to leave it off just for safety purposes. So. Now you've got your kill switch hooked up. There's one more thing we need to ground, and that is the um, solenoid here. This solenoid is what was fooling me when I tried to start this motor earlier. And what you have to do is you have to ground the solenoid's bottom to the negative terminal of the battery. And once that's done, all the negative sides are hooked up. Now there's only two wires you have to worry about for the positive, and that is this big, thick, I believe it's a uh, six gauge or something, don't quote me on that, but it's a nice big wire. And this runs directly from the starter motor down to your solenoid, and then up all the way to your positive battery hookup. And what I've done, if you can see here, is I just have a couple of pipe clamps or hose clamps hooked down to each one of these to make it easier to take them on and off. Because I use this battery for all sorts of things. So that's where your positive hookup goes. And you just want to hook that to the battery. Now the other wire coming off of here is what you'll use to start the motor. And this is very important. There's two ways you can actually do this. Now when you're hooking this up on the tractor, you'll be using the other method, which is this positive wire right here that comes off of the solenoid. And what you do is you jump this positive wire, it's got a little fuse here, to where this white wire is coming off of on the solenoid, your positive hookup. And what that does is it allows a little bit of a current to flow through the solenoid, which then pulls a plunger inside, connecting the bigger current of the uh, red wire, allowing the starter to turn over. Whereas if you were to use a regular switch here, it would be way too powerful for that switch. The solenoid is basically a big switch that is controlled by an electric um, magnet that closes the circuit. And what you can also do is take this wire and run it to just a push button switch, not a turn on off switch like this light switch, but a push button. It's very important because you do not want this hooked up or your starter will run the entire time the motor is on. Not a good thing. So you basically hook a push button from here to the where the white wire is now and that will also act as a start. I'd actually recommend that over my method, but either one works. I just happen to use the cheaper, easier method right now because I don't have a push button switch. So basically to start this motor, which I'll probably do in a second here, all you have to do is touch your red wire from the positive terminal to this white wire, which is for the headlights of the motor. You don't have to have it hooked up. Actually, it doesn't even have to be there, but it's where the headlights normally hook up. You just touch it to that, and your motor will start. Now there's one other thing we have to worry about when you've got it on a test stand, and that's gasoline. And what I've done here is I just ran the regular motor's gas hookup or gas line. Instead of running it to the back of a bigger gas tank, I just took an old lawnmower gas tank and put it up here. 
just make sure it's above the carburetors is the main thing. So now that we've got everything hooked up, let's try to start it. So the first thing we have to do is turn our little light switch to the off position. Now that we are in the off position, all we have to do, um, I actually started, I'm going to try starting it with the choke in and the motor right above the turtle position here. This allows the gas flowing. And then I'm going to jump this red wire to the white wire here and our motor should turn over. There we go. And it started right up. And you can see our little friction friend and twin is running just like a truck. And now that it's running, of course I don't need this running because it's not hooked in. All of this for purposes of testing and making sure the motor actually works. Now that I know it works, it's time to turn it off. And all that has to be done is to come over here, you push your little throttle down to the off position, and then go to your light switch and turn it off. Or to the on position on the light switch. And the motor stops. And that is how you hook up a Briggs & Stratton electrical system so you can start the motor. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe, comment, or plus one the video. Thank you. Patriot Contraption signing out.